What's going on everybody? It's your boy KC from CTD Graphics and I'm here today to basically give you guys a free tutorial on how to edit photography photos. And the photo that I'm going to be editing today was shot on a white backdrop and I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to smoothen out the skin, remove the blemishes, and make the photo look like money. The reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of people want to get into photography, but what a lot of people don't understand is to be a photographer is more than just taking photos. You have to know how to edit the photos the right way. It's really the way how you edit the photos is what's going to sell you as a photographer. And I'm here to show you guys some tricks on how to do that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial video that I'm getting ready to do. Please like and subscribe the video. Share your comments. Tell me what you think about the video and how you think I did all that other stuff because I love the criticism back. I take it all into consideration, I'm oh, sorry, on how I, you know, continue to go and everything like that. So just enjoy the video and here we go. We're gonna get this thing going. Right here and for several reasons because this is actually one of my favorite photos of her from the photo shoot that I shot. I just like, you know, the look that she's given, the fancy model, everything. Um, as far as the dress goes, ladies, this dress was designed by Diva Fit. So make sure that you guys hit her up if you're looking to get, you know, a dress. It's prom season for some of your daughters and some of you young ladies, you know, contact her to get your dress. But we're going to get ready and get started. So what I'm going to do first, as you see, I got her right here. And we're going to remove all this. I'm going to turn all this to white. It's going to look like she was actually shot in the studio. So what I'm going to do first, we're going to do, we're going to go over here, we're going to double click the background and make it into a layer. Then we're going to double click it again and duplicate the layer. The reason why you always want to duplicate the layer is because you want to, whatever I do, like right now I'm going to work on basically removing the blemishes. So everything that I do for the removing the blemishes is going to be on this layer right here. So when I get ready to basically... Say, for instance, if I make a mistake, all I got to do is click this and it'll go away. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about because some of you guys are probably thinking he's talking too fast and I don't understand. So we can do two things. We can click this right here and remove it. And that's the spot tool healer. Or we can click this one right here. Now with this one, you're going to have to right click, click option if you're using a MacBook Pro and click on an area spot. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And what this does is it basically blends in the area where the blemish is with your skin a lot more. Now to go back on what I was saying earlier. You see, I'm doing this on the layer. Now, let's say, for instance, I decide I want her blemishes back. All I got to do is cut that layer off, and it's back. But I want the blemishes hidden. All right, let's go right here. What I like about her, too, she is so flawless. Like, it's very little things I got to do to her. She gets an A plus for being my model. And when you're doing this, try not to touch like the black areas because it'll make it look blurry and give it like a look that you really don't want on your photo. I'm just basically going through, just cleaning it up, getting some rid of some of these red areas and all that stuff so that we can make her look gorgeous. All right. So we kind of got, you know, the little blemishes gone. She don't really, she has makeup on her face, so I really don't even have to touch that. So now I'm going to duplicate the layer again. And I'm going to click select, not select, but filter and come down to camera raw filter. 
And what I want to do is now I want to enhance the photo. So I'm going to go right here and really there's no right or way, wrong way to do this. You can kind of just play with it to get it how you want it. But I want it to be like right here. That way I can brighten her up just a little bit. Maybe add a little bit of contrast. Now, some cases, some people would take the highlight down and it'll look like that. I'm not. I'm keeping the highlights. I like bright, crisp photos. I think the brighter the photo is, the better. I'm going to go down here to black like that. If you want to add the shadow remover, I don't think you should because it's going to look like that. But we're going to do this. And we're going to hit OK. All right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to go right here to our dodge tool. Make sure it's on highlight, exposure 100, exposure 100. And I like to use the big brush size, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click. And as you see, as I'm going around, it's making the background bright white. Try not to touch her skin as much as possible because if you touch her skin, it will make her skin look bright too and you don't really want that. Trust me, you don't. So we're just going around. And now I want to go right here to the brush tool and make sure it's on white. Make another layer by clicking this, new layer. Just go over them areas. I know it seems a little bit like consuming, but just take your time. You'll be able to do it. Now let's flatten this. And she's not done. Because as you see, it doesn't look right because the fat right here. So we're going to fix that. Let's go back to camera raw though first. I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Not lens correction, camera raw. And you can add a little bit more exposure to her if you want to, or you can brighten up the whiteness. But if you're gonna do that, you need to turn this down some. And you see what it's doing. Let's keep that like that. And let's adjust the temperature a little bit. There you go. That way it looks a little bit more natural. Now, I would say use the light right here. Now, you got to be careful because she's light skinned. So, too much light, she's going to look like that. And we don't want that on her. I'm gonna say about right there. Bring about bring the darkness down just a little bit, or actually bring the dark yeah about right there. Let me see something. Uh, let's bring the exposure about right there. some adjusting to the temperature. Make her look like a million dollars. <laughs> so now we're going to click OK. And as you see, the skirt, the dress is blended in a lot more better. 
Now we're still not done. We're going to duplicate again. We're going back to camera roll. I'm sorry if my personality may be a little bit too much for some. All right here to sharpen. Bring this all the way right there. You see how it's smoothing her out a little bit? But it's too smooth, so we want to put it about right there. I always like to put the sharp all the way on. Is it okay? Now let's duplicate the layer again. Now this is the fun part. We really don't have to sharpen the image because the image is already sharp. But if you want to know how to sharpen up an image, like if it's blurry, you just go right here to sharpen, click this. Make sure the amount is like about right there to 70, 82 radius. Like I said, she doesn't need to be sharpened because she was already sharpened. So I'm not going to sharpen her up. I like it smooth just like that. But we're going to go right here, click the blur tool. Click that. And we're going to add a layer mask. Then we're going to go to our paint bucket. Make sure it's on black. And what I'm doing right now, I'm going to teach you guys basically how to smoothen out the skin. Take your paint bucket, click it. Let's go right here. Let's get our brush tool. Make sure it's on white and make sure that the layer mask is selected and just go like this over her skin I went out too far. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Now, as you see, I don't like this because right here, it's a little dark. So really the issue with that was when I did the blur tool, I had it on too much and really I should have turned it down some. But if I go like this about right here, that's and I reduce it some, as you see, it looks better. So now we're gonna flatten the image. And really, your photo is done. This is how you can basically edit a studio photo. As you see, it looks like she was shot inside of a studio. You know, you couldn't even tell that I had all that other stuff in the background going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share your thoughts again. Like, you know, tell me what you guys think of it. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be sure to be on the lookout for my book that's coming on how to be a rock star graphic designer. And if you are interested in learning how to do graphics and signing up for my courses, I have the link listed in the bio underneath. So you can go and sign up. It's for a very cheap price. And just stay tuned because I got more of these coming. And just support me. And I just want to see everybody be great. You know, that's it. And God bless you all.